Maybe it's the long winter nights, the festive season, but we're feeling a bit nostalgic at the GG Recon office this week. And despite Overwatch 2 throwing new content, new heroes, and new abilities at us every single new season, and a Christmas event to play through as well, we can't help but miss the old days sometimes. It's hard to accept, but there are simply some Overwatch abilities we'll never see again. Some were simply too powerful to be allowed to continue, others just don't quite fit into the new 5v5 format. So, while you tuck into a mince pie and open up another selection box, join us for a nostalgic look back at a few Overwatch abilities we really miss, actually. Alright, look, I appreciate it. it's a controversial one to start what should be a gentle look back at the Overwatch of yesteryear, but Scatter Arrow really didn't need removing from the game. The problem Scatter Arrow caused was, one, it did far too much damage to be sustainable, and two, random arrows could ricochet all the way across the map, and it was way too easy to get luck and headshot someone just by accident. But rather than nerfing the damage and reducing the radius of the scatter, which is probably what they do nowadays, Blizzard decided to bin the ability for good and replace it with an entirely new one. And frankly, Storm Arrows are no less insufferable anyway. Rip Scatter Arrows, you were taken from us too soon. Okay, that was a contentious pick for the holiday season, but what's Christmas for if not falling out with people you care about? This ability though, I think we can all agree, didn't deserve its fate. Come get your armor! Our favorite high-grade weapons engineer would shout, like a turreted Santa Claus on Christmas night, turning scrap metal into delicious bonus hit points for his team to burn through and keep them alive through the harsh Overwatch winter. The fact is, armor packs made Torb infinitely more interested, giving what would have been, and what has become, the most passive DPS character in the game some support utility that honestly wasn't even that unbalanced anyway. An honorable mention should probably go to leveling up Torb's turrets as well, but when Sojourn buries a railgun shot through our head hit box for the thousandth time. It's the armor packs we miss the most. Alright, Santa's been, the turkey's eaten, the presents are open, the eggnog is flowing, and we're back swinging with the controversial picks. For those lucky enough not to have been logged into Overwatch during Mercy's reign of terror, Mass Res basically turned a team fight into a 6v11, since Mercy could feasibly just hide in a back alley somewhere until their team died, then swoop in with their Mass Res ultimate to bring their entire squad back from the dead, ready to sweep up the enemy. Did it turn every game into hide and seek with the Mercy? Yes. Did it make Mercy a must pick? Yes, it definitely did. But there was nothing more satisfying than resing your entire team back from the grave and pushing them back into a fight. The ability did actually make a comeback on an experimental card when Overwatch 1 was winding down, and maybe we're being blinded by holiday nostalgia, but it was a lot of fun. Or maybe I'm just a bit of support main looking for a reason to reintroduce a broken ability. Bah, humbug. So you're not a fan of mass res, fine, I get it. But what about a more balanced ability that was actually in the game for years and was only removed for Overwatch 2? Call me old fashioned, but I like being able to heal myself, thanks very much. And why should supports get all the fun? Bastion's self heal was a staple of his kit for years and as a DPS with not loads of health to begin with, it was a nice way to keep yourself efficiently wreaking havoc on the enemy team. And yes, I get why it was removed. There's only one tank now, so less for supports to babysit. So technically any Bastion could have a support pocket them anyway, but this is a nostalgia video. So give him the self heal back. It is Christmas after all. So there you go, just a few Overwatch abilities we'll never see again that we quite miss actually. Don't forget to subscribe if you're in the festive spirit and check out these videos to help you through the long winter nights. Thanks for watching.